Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example on circle theorems. PQRS lie on a circle with center O. So we can see the four points P, Q, R and S are lying on the circle and the center of the circle is at point O. TP and TQ are the tangents to the circle. So TP and TQ are the tangents because they touch the circle at only one point that is at point P and at point Q. PR is a diameter. Angle PSQ is 64 degrees. So PSQ is given as 64 degrees. Work out the values of W and X. So we have to find out the values of W and X in this case. So let us first find out the value of angle X by using a circle theorem. The circle theorem we are going to use to find x is angle at the center of the circle. Now you can see that I have drawn a circle with two points on the circle A and B and the center of the circle is given as O. Now let me draw an angle made by these two points with the center O and the same two points A and B make an angle with the circumference of the circle. And let me take the point as C. Now according to the theorem, it states that angle at the center of the circle, that is angle AOB, is always equal to 2 times the angle at the circumference of the circle, which is angle ACB. So we can write here as angle AOB, that is angle at the center, is always equal to 2 times the angle at the circumference of the circle, that is angle ACB. Now let us try to use this theorem to solve the example above. Now let us consider the two points P and Q and they make an angle at the center that is POQ and the same two points are going to make an angle at the circumference which is PSQ. Now according to the theorem which we learnt just now, angle at the center which is in this case angle POQ is equal to 2 times the angle at the circumference which is angle PSQ and in this case our center angle POQ is given as X so X is equal to 2 times and angle PSQ is given as 64 degrees so we get the value of X as 128 degrees so let us write down over here the value of X is equal to 128 degrees. Now let us try to find out the value of W. Now the angle W is over here and to find this angle let us use another circle theorem which is given as angles in a semicircle. So you can see that I have drawn a circle already here with two points AB and AB acts as a diameter because it passes through the center O and the theorem states that angle made by a diameter in a semicircle is always 90 degrees. So the diameter AB divides the entire circle into two equal halves and each half is called as a semicircle. Now if I start drawing an angle in one of the semicircles by the diameter that is for example maybe it is this way or the angle is over here. Likewise I can draw n number of angles in either of those semicircles. So each angle made by the diameter is going to be 90 degrees. So this is the theorem we are going to use. Now let us see how to use this theorem in solving the given example above. Here we can see that POR is the diameter and the angle made by POR is at point S in the semicircle. And because it is an angle made by the diameter in the semicircle, so the entire angle is going to be 90 degrees. And this 90 degree is formed by these two angles that is W and 64. So we can write it as W plus 64 is going to form an angle of 90 degrees by using the angles in the semicircle theorem. So W is going to be equal to 90 minus 64 and that is going to give us an angle of 
26 degrees so we got the angle w as 26 degrees now let us look at the next part of this question showing all your working find the value of y so the angle y is over here and to find out the angle y let us consider the given quadrilateral that is q o p t and back to q so we are considering this quadrilateral it is not a cyclic quadrilateral because the point t is not on the circle now there is one property which we need to remember which is the tangent always makes 90 degrees with the radius of the circle or the diameter of the circle so TQ is a tangent and OQ is a radius so it makes a 90 degrees with the radius now TP is a tangent and OP is the radius now here again we are going to have a 90 degrees between the radius and the tangent now since this is a quadrilateral we can add all the angles together and the sum of all the angles of a quadrilateral is going to be 360 degrees so let us write it down now as angle Q plus angle O plus angle P plus angle T is equal to 360 degrees now angle Q we got it as 90 degrees and angle O which is angle X and we had got it as 128 degrees plus angle P is again 90 degrees plus angle T is Y degrees is equal to 360 degrees so now we get Y as 360 minus 90 minus 128 minus 90 so let us see how much we get we get it as 52 degrees so this is how we find out the angle Y I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video so if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching